say up the it has so many ways to foster understanding and cooperation mm-hmm. I, i think it's not only during the say up mm. uh say up program but it's also the day that uh you were selected to be one of the malaysia representative so you came from variety and different background mm. i at first i don't know my contingent mates as well oh. so i got to know them during the first day that we met so tr- it's all the process uh from the day you the day the uh ministry of youth and sports call us Uh, you the preparation I'm like Wow Alhamdulillah <laughs> <laughs> I was excited I'm like Wow I, Because I was very young That time uh, So honestly you? speaking Honestly speaking I went to the interview Just to At least to get the experience uh-huh. first Because I like to try uh, And challenge my, myself I see So um, Yeah I was just trying Then Alhamdulillah I got it I, I, I'll just go Go for it <laughs> Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Hi gang. So as you know, this episode is the continuation of the previous series which was What's Up Gang podcast. So in this series, we invite alumni from different different exchange programs to talk about and share their experiences going through these programs. All right. So what is the objective of this series? So basically, we want to share our experiences, our struggles and our our processes so that you can learn and in hopes to inspire the future change makers and leaders so that you can learn more from these people. All right. So, before we proceed with today's topic, don't forget to follow our YouTube channel which is High Gang Podcast. Our Facebook is JBS and Negara and belia.my. Our Instagram is JBS Negara and our TikTok is JBS Negara as well. Our X is JBS underscore Negara and our website and portal is www.kbs.gov.my and don't forget to follow www.jbsn.gov.my Don't forget to use the hashtag TeamKBS and TeamJBSN as well as Hashtag JBSN Bersama and Hashtag Rakan Muda Alright, so Today's topic will be on Sayap And our esteemed guests today are Miss Nurul Afini Binti Abdul Raza And Mr. Muhammad Shahmi bin Muhammad Anis Hi guys! Hi. How are you guys doing? Fine. Very good Very good, Very good. Very okay, nice. Have you guys had yeah. dinner? Yeah Yes Yes, okay yeah. So Sayap I've heard a lot of stories with friends that have gone on this cruise. It's it's so god, it's so avant-garde. I dengar pun macam ah nak pergi. So tell me about it. I heard there's like swimming pools, there's like large halls. You meet people from 11 countries and you visit a lot of countries even if I'm not mistaken more than 5, right? 5, which is 5. 5. I mean. Ah, okay okay. So tell me about it. What is your most memorable experience in the cruise? What about you, Miss Nurul Afini? Mm, okay. Because this is a, a very unique uh, and it's a once in a lifetime experience, there are a lot a lot of memorable experience. Mm. But maybe if I can share a few that uh, came out into my mind is one of them is um, when we go into go to the different countries. So, uh, we have we we will spend a few days I think about four, three or four days in each country. In each country. Yes. In, in each three country. to four days in like every country that you go to. Yeah. That's so good. Mm. I'm. I need to see your passport. It's like <laughs> buku nilam, buku nilam, buku nilam. Is yes. it? Chop, 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 chop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So tell me about it. Did you have like foster families? Yes. Um. We will spend three to four days, and then uh, we have a few more activities apart uh. from the foster families, institutional visits. Um, all of this we call it country program. For uh. example, in um, in the year of 2015, when I was the participating youth, or we call it PY, mm. um, I was a PY for 2015. So we went to we started from Japan, and then we went to Philippines, mm. uh, Vietnam, Myanmar, and of course our beautiful country, Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia. Uh. Uh, so every country that we went to. Uh, we have uh, our foster family, we have our uh, institutional visit program and also we have uh, local in, local youth interaction where 
what, whatever pro, whatever activities that we have, uh, there will be uh, uh, engagement between the local youth. Not only we have our uh, activities with our uh, foster families. Okay, so yeah. let's say for Japan, right? What is the like the highlight of going there? Like in Japan, what did you do? Like from Malaysia to Japan, you went on flight and then you boarded the cruise in Japan, like with everyone else there. Yes, but before we uh, on board the cruise, we spent about uh, one week in Japan. Uh-huh. We were all split, divided into uh, a few groups, going into few uh, different prefectures. Like for example, I went uh, to Aichi and my friend going to uh, Yamagata, different prefecture. <sighs> Uh, macam uh, different different states lah macam ah. tu. Uh, okay, so definitely everyone has our own experience. Mm. For myself, uh, I spend my time with uh, my family uh, uh, doing uh, uh, more because uh, I spent in Aichi. So Aichi is like very like a suburb, uh, suburb place, uh, suburban place. So. Uh, most of it is more to visiting to museums mm. uh, and then also we have some uh, courtesy calls with uh, some of the district officers. Okay, so that is the participating youth's uh, opinion and like experience. I really want to know what was it like for the national leader? It must be a little bit more challenging for you to handle like people going to different different places different different countries right yeah. so how was it for you like you uh, as the right now you are the assistant director for the sports mm. and uh, sports development division mm. and you were also the national leader in yeah. 2019 yeah. so can you share with us like what were your primary responsibilities as a national leader okay fira thank you fira Uh, back to 2019 when the last uh, say up program mm. uh, that have a physical say up program where the ship sail okay for 52 days so my main uh, responsibility is actually to facilitate uh, my contingent uh, as a national leaders uh, they call me abang wow. i'm the abang long abang long fadil i responsible to for the contingent in all aspects so let's of preparation see if yeah If they get sick, yeah, are you in charge of like, oh, are you okay? I have to. This you is have my to. Responsibility. <laughs> you don't yeah, want to, yeah. but you have to. Uh, the Japanese uh, administration uh-huh. uh, very particular in this, uh, in terms of safety and health. Mm. And we being called as a national leader, we being called to urgent meeting mm. for if if any uh, emergencies happen uh, related with health, safety. And as a national leader, I am responsible to that, and I have to make sure that all 28 participants in my contingents are in a good uh, condition. condition. And uh, I also uh, not only monitor, uh, monitor and facilitate that, but I became uh, abang just now as a mentor. Mm. I listen to the problems. Uh, I manage all the conflicts in 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 the contingent, and I have to make sure that since the first day of our uh, journey. Everyone are safe mm. until the end. So it is a huge responsibility. It and, is and a huge yeah, responsibility. I dengar pun ada apa perlu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, for Miss Afini, I really want to know because what you said just now is like all fun, going on yeah. trips, like spending time with people from different different countries, yeah. and you make a lot of friends. I bet. Yeah. So can you share with me any challenges that you face during your voyage? Like let's say the waves are too. Like vigorous. How was of it? Of course. Okay. What I shared just now was when we were outside of the ship. Mm. Okay. When that de- definitely when we we came from v- variety of backgrounds, uh, nationalities especially. Yeah. So uh, uh, we have uh, I would say few challenges uh, going to our uh, daily life. One of it is um, okay. We have a lot of programs also uh, on board the ship. One of it is. Uh, kind of like uh, team building activities, mm. we call it solidarity group wow. SG. So actually, all of us were divided uh, into different SG groups, solidarity right. groups SGA, SGB, SGC. So which are every group, group one, group two, group three. Other people from different different countries, lah. Yeah. Wow. So for example, SGA, we have 40 40 okay. 40 PY participating youth. So maybe uh, out of that 40 Uh, two or three will be from the representative from uh, different countries. Mm. So uh, from 
that group also we will elect uh, uh, we call it uh, SG subcommittee so this SG subcommittee we set up to um, organize and conduct uh, activities fun activities on board the ship oh so you so, guys made your own activities yeah wow. so it's not everything is not based on Japan so Japan let us give us the power wow. to to organize fun activities on board like if you want to do uh, treasure hunt explore race anything that we want to learn um, traditional dance from other countries oh. yeah we are very welcome to do so so one of the challenges is language barrier ah. yes because usually uh, we thought that oh it's uh, an english speaking uh, program yes it is it's an english speaking program so definitely we have a different level also right mm. so uh, language barrier when my personal experience when we were discussing uh, the what are the activities that we we are going to conduct so there us at uh, there us at, at a point of time that um, we couldn't Communicate we well. We couldn't understand what ah. are the other parties are trying to, trying to tell us. Trying to, I mean, they have, uh, they they really want to uh, share their ideas to put up uh, their ideas on the table. But maybe it's just n- not. They don't know how to put it into words. Yes, is yes. It? Ah. So what what we do is, uh, of course, we are from uh, in in the committee. Uh, they also have their uh, friend that is from the same. Uh, country mm. so we communicate like uh, okay actually maybe can you help your friend oh, <laughs> so different levels of english yeah helping each other yes ah. what is he or she trying to to, to convey communicate? Ah. yeah and also at some point of time we draw like oh is this, is this what, <laughs> is this what you mean is? is this what you're saying <laughs> yeah. I see, I see. it's a it's a challenge but we learn something out of it yeah yeah yes. and that is actually a smart way to overcome the language barrier problem yes. how about the NL, I bet your challenges were a bit yeah. different than the participating yes. use problems. So can you share? Um, since the first day when I was appointed, uh, appointed as the national leader, mm-hmm. okay, uh, I have a huge responsibility in managing expectation of everyone. Mm, definitely. Uh, I have to manage expectation from the ministry because uh-huh. I will lead the contingent as a national leader and I have to manage uh, expectation uh, from participants and also families mm. uh, and I have to uh, remind them all the time that we have uh, goals and objectives uh, mm. for joining this. A part of the fun things <laughs> that happen uh, on ship and yeah. uh, the, during the program, uh, we need to know that we have responsibilities. And and, and uh, during our preparation time, uh, even though the program is 52 days, but the preparation took months. So everyone need to work uh, with each other. We need to find the common goals. We need to find the common targets mm. uh, to before going there and we need to have a very uh, tough preparation so that is part of the challenge that i face because um uh, dealing with uh, all the participants with different cultures and backgrounds yeah. it's not easy it's not and, it's not and after the program uh, ends uh, we are now like a family because uh. we know i have to know each other I have to get to know each other uh, in details mm. before we go for the program and so yeah it is very huge challenge for me right yeah. now like years into like after the trip yeah. after the trip you guys must have felt like ya allah bring yeah. me back yeah. ya allah bring yeah. me back to the ship each time we met the stories that left uh, behind after five years of the program still remain fresh mm. so everyone like can talk about it for days yeah, <laughs> yeah i bet for years yeah, yeah maybe for years you until, can even yeah. tell to your children yes yes, yes because exactly. it is truly once in a lifetime and fear the beauty of it we usually call say up uh, the ship of friendship and love yeah so the friendship if you know, Encik Shahmi, yeah. the NL of 2019, uh-huh. I was a participating yeah. youth for 2015. Uh-huh. Even we are f- uh, coming from different batches. Yep. But, you know, once once we gather, once yeah. we can, you know, we can mix mix along very well. Yeah. Even, mm. uh, yeah, Encik Shahmi is, is a good leader and of course uh, her, uh, her contingent mates yeah. also. So, uh, even though it's a 
di- uh, we are coming from different batches we can we can really laugh really yeah. laugh together if you want yes. to know how it emerged uh-huh. it, when uh, my contingent going for our batch uh, program 2019. so the previous uh, participants and and uh, contingent will come and help us oh. uh, during the preparation so we owe them because they they experienced the program before they have lots of experience to share with us yeah. to prepare our contingent because we don't have anything in mind so you how know what this, to expect yeah, right? how to expect about this program so uh. these they are those who came and and help us yeah. and now you're on this podcast to share with the viewers yeah, about what yeah. you can expect yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Winnie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's really, really great to hear. Yeah. And for the third question, I would like mm. to ask uh, Miss Nurul Afini, um, what cultural exchange activities stood out to you the most? Like, and why? Like, why did you love it? For me, when I went to Korea, we did a lot of activities, and which we traveled to, like. Myeongdong, of course, for shopping, and then we spent a lot, and then we met to, uh, we went to the museums. The museums there are so interactive, and it's so fun to drive along with the youth over there. So I, re- I'm really, really interested to know what Sayap has like in store for the people. I guess it's all um similar to to uh, other programs, but maybe the beauty of Sayap is also every uh countries that we went to. We have a lot of ceremonies that they welcome us. Oh. So once we, uh, for example, um, uh, one of the country that uh, I went is Vietnam. Mm-hmm. So Vietnam, when we uh, when we were out of the ship, so we were uh, headed to uh, the welcome cer- welcoming ceremony. Same goes to other countries. Oh. So during that welcoming ceremony, every contingent uh, will have to perform. <gasps> yes, we'll have to perform with our. Uh, um, with our costume, mm-hmm. with our costume. So um, the the dance or performance that we 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 perform, even though we are all not uh, professional dancers, we were <laughs> trained. We were <laughs> we, we. That is one of our preparation going to say up. So we we dance. We enjoy our ourselves on the stage. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just enjoy, and then we don't know what happened actually. Like, uh, is it good or do we dance very well, or is it uh, look very awkward? <laughs> But once we done with the performance, all the audience together with our friends from different countries, wow. they will clap with us. They they will um, stand up and clap for us. That is very. Heartwarming mm. for us. The connections yeah. and like the relationship yeah. that you built during that ship must yeah. be like unbreakable. I yeah. bet the people you meet there, you still follow them on Instagram. Yes, <laughs> that's one. Then another one that's uh, uh, for on board the ship uh, as well. We have um, activities like like I said just now. We are free to do uh, a lot of activities, variety activities. So for example, uh, we learn different languages mm. uh, from different countries and then learn their traditional dances. So it's a very free flow and very interactive and engaging activities. So sometimes when we learn uh, other countries' um, traditional dance, we are like because we have our own. Um, Tradition and dance, right? So yes. when we learn uh, other countries, it felt very awkward, <laughs> but it's it's very it's very fun. Yeah, it's something different from us. It's always fun to learn something new, right? Yes. Okay, so that was before COVID, and then you were 2019. Yeah. After that, COVID hit. Yes. So can you share? Can you share with the viewers and with me? Yeah. How was it? Like, how did say up accommodate to the COVID yeah. 19 problems? No one expect. Uh, COVID can be that bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, during our time in 2019, uh, I did uh, mention this to Afini before. Uh, among us, the national leaders, uh, we did discuss ah. about um, how this program or how the government of Japan uh, spend a huge amount of money for this program, right? Mm-hmm. And we. It, during our discussion, also we we we've been uh, thinking of um, until when they will organize this, uh, yeah. until when it will end. And suddenly, when we um, end up on December 2019, and the COVID pandemic came in March 2020, uh, everyone realized how and what we have discussed on ship actually uh. is it. Uh, 
is it the last batch that oh. will uh, I mean undergo this program or are we going to be the last batch? Oh. It suddenly hits us uh, very much because um, during the pandemic, I think the program stopped. Yeah. And then the initiative taken by the Japanese government uh, uh, to discuss with all the participants' country to resume the program after that uh, mm. uh, using the online platform. Mm. They 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 came up with the ideas of virtual uh, program and 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 uh, after that uh, last year it started with the physical one but not uh, fully physical. Mm. And inshallah this year uh, the Nippon Maru ship will sail. I so mean. yeah, <laughs> after five and six years, it really, um, I mean, the changes is very huge yeah. because of COVID. But I'm so happy. Uh, we are the al- alumni also very happy uh, when the program will resume back uh, physically, uh, inshallah. And yeah, um, more and more youth in this country will have experience mm. uh, to join after this yeah opportunity what i know from yeah. this year is yeah. the marketing is like mostly directed towards korea yeah. but those of you who are watching yeah. say up you are going to travel to yes. five countries like afini i know unfortunately no just because <laughs> they are slowly getting <laughs> oh. back to the normal yeah. so they are starting with two countries first oh that's yeah. still i mean if you're going yeah. to korea that's one country <laughs> <laughs> If we can share, yeah. because me uh-huh. and Afini also involved with the camp selection ah. for this year, and I'm, I'm I'm one of the panels also. I see. So uh, when when we s- uh, do some uh, survey mm. uh, among all those uh, participants or uh, youth that came for the camp selection, uh-huh. they don't really have a clear view about this program. Say, say up. Mm. Uh, but we had a discussion, and and I I told Afini that uh, we have four days here. Yeah. Uh, we need to promote yeah. this to them, and and we 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 really really into that. Uh, we uh, convince them to come for the interviews and experience it. And experience I bet a lot it. of people did come. Yeah, at uh. first I think the number is very very no. low because, yeah. uh, like you said just now, people are registering uh, register for the Korean and they are going mm. for Korean, so. Uh, when 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 we promote it to them and we can see that uh, numbers increase, going, yeah, uh, and and coming for the interviews, um, I think it's better uh, yes. for this year to yeah for the program to resume lah. Okay. I guess I understand yeah. their feeling, their yeah. position that oh they don't know about about this program. program yes. But sometimes in life, I guess you just have to go with it yeah. and just challenge yourself and experience yes. True. What, what the opportunity has mm-hmm. has has it for yeah. you going out of your comfort box right yes mm. comfort zone yeah so uh afini eh sorry oh yes afini yeah. uh in what ways do you think did say up foster understanding and cooperation among participants from different countries i got the point where you said like you jive and like learn from each other's backgrounds so, are there anything or like, is that the highlight of it all? Uh, Alright, okay, of course, Sayyap, it has so many ways to foster understanding and cooperation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's not only during the Sayyap, mm. uh, Sayyap program, but it's also the day that uh, you were selected to be one of the Malaysia representative. So you came from variety and different background. Mm. I at first I don't know my contingent mates as well. Ah. So I got to know them during the first day that we met. So tr- it's all the process uh, from the day you, the day the uh, Ministry of Youth and Sports call us. Uh, Were you the preparation. I'm like, wow, <laughs> alhamdulillah. <laughs> I was excited. I'm like, wow, I, because I was very young that time. Uh, so honestly you? speaking, honestly speaking, I went to the interview just to at least to get the experience uh-huh. first, because I like to try uh, and challenge my, myself. I see. So um, yeah, I was just trying. Then alhamdulillah, I got it. I I I'll just go go for it. Yeah. So uh, the day uh, of the preparation, first day of preparation until the say up. Uh, program itself it has so many ways um, being it in all the structured programs that Japan has uh, scheduled um, up to your personal personal daily life like because we are set to be uh, to be with our cabin mates mm. so in, in in the ship we were uh, uh, we were uh, partner with uh, another two more particip- 
participants from, from different, different countries. countries. Yeah. So you won't have uh, like Malaysia, Malaysia in one cabin. Ah. So it will be different country. So uh, until to that personal personal level, like uh, maybe uh, every night we have because our uh, curfew is until 11 p.m. Oh. So sometimes we have a Maggie party. <laughs> we eat Maggie and then just has uh, just have some chit chat before we go to bed. Uh, you know, just sharing like our per- uh, personal level. Mm. But maybe one of the things that I also remember is uh, one of the participants uh, from Lao. So usually when they when they are on their traditional costume, they have like their macam sanggol macam tu ban oh, macam tu. Okay. It's very unique. It's very nice. <laughs> so uh, one of my friend, one of uh, contingent mate Malaysia, uh, mm. a guy. So I think maybe dia teruja ko oh. dia macam <laughs> Oh, uh, macam mana eh, ban ni nak buat kan? So, hmm. dia terpegang. Macam, eh, macam mana eh, macam ni kan? Hmm. So, uh, and then that, my, my friend, uh, who is also my cabin mate, uh, she was shocked. Yelah, tiba-tiba orang pegang rampa ah. kepala kita kan, mesti dah terkejut. So, and then uh, she was saying to me lah, Afini, uh, can you tell him that um, it's very sensitive, uh, oh. it's very... It's very sensitive for uh, us, Lao PY, to actually uh, hold our head, oh. uh, macam tu. Then I say, oh, okay, I'm so sorry uh, on behalf of my my friend and Malaysia. I'm so sorry about it. We are also actually sensitive about that. Mm. Um, but maybe uh, he was just excited, excited, <laughs> and to see how 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 is the bun uh, was being <laughs> made, macam tu kan. Mm. So I think actually that that. Um, give us the awareness to be a little bit more sensitive mm. even the tiny tiny things true yeah you to, don't know right to add some more on the understanding just uh-huh. now uh, when afini talk about maggi you uh-huh. know uh, we realize how eastern noodle can be a diplomatic uh, forms of uh, things in which uh, each country have different instant noodle and when we bring our own maggi oh. so some country they when we are doing the noodle party they are very keen to like oh very sedap you know our ah. maggi is very nice can we exchange oh. yeah yeah oh. we coffee. yeah coffee oh. maggi <laughs> so the other country like indonesia of course are famous with indomie oh, and yes. sedap uh, they will yes. bring their products and and the other parts of asian also they have their own instant noodle oh. so during the program we we didn't realize that oh how come maggi become something that so can system yeah butter. yeah can really <laughs> it, okay yeah, you know what's funny yeah, yeah. you happened in 2015 you happened to the 19 19? my exchange was last year in 2023 okay. we also had a noodle party yeah. <laughs> and they okay. loved maggi lontong yeah. oh okay. <laughs> yeah the koreans love lontong yeah. surprisingly yeah. so it's like collective and experience. during my contingent time uh, we got lots of sponsors oh. for our local products yes. like we bring uh, Milo three in one, oh. and then we bring Maggi. The whole bunch of uh, almari <laughs> is Maggi. So I ask them, um, you guys start nak balik Malaysia dah ke? <laughs> Bawa ni banyak ni, you guys nak berniaga ke? But then when people love, uh, uh. we did exchange. Oh, yes. uh, we did exchange with all the participants. Then. That is yeah. so great yeah, to yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good. In terms yeah. of you being yeah, a national yeah. leader for Say Up, yeah. Can you share with the viewers and me mm. what has impacted your own personal and professional growth from that trip? Okay, um, I think I'm lucky to be selected mm. because it is not uh, an easy task to become a national leader. And uh, during that time, I've been um, in a way that um, uh, I, I, I don't know whether I can do it or not. Uh, but um, I have a feelings that uh, this is part of my task uh, because I carry the names of the the, the nation. Mm. Uh, I'm responsible with this uh, task given to me. Yes. So um, after five years, um, it is personally uh, develop my own uh, leadership skills uh, in so many things like communication, uh, understanding the organization itself. And um, I think Seyap itself given me a lot of opportunity after that. Mm. And uh, being given for 52 days, uh, I said to you just now, 52 days of the program, but a part of that, we have months of uh, preparation. Uh-huh. Uh, it is not an easy task, but yeah. I managed to do with the help of everyone. And we managed to uh, bring the name of the, nation, uh, the country uh, mm. during the program well. So yeah, 
uh, I think personally, um, a part of uh, my own personal growth in my my career, I also gain uh, good networking. Mm. Uh, not only among the national leaders, we also have a good networking with the Japanese uh, government also, and all the participants from the other countries. From the other right? country, will, like your connections yeah, are yeah, like global. Become our family now. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's so that's the, so good, and that doesn't thing. even apply to national leaders only yeah. because even the participating yeah, youths, you yeah. guys still like I finished it just now yeah. when when he involved with the solidarity group. We, the national leader, also being given a task to become the national leader of each uh, solidarity oh. group, in which my members in my solidarity group is not only come from Malaysia. Oh. So I have various uh, participants from every country in my solidarity group, and then uh, the the government office design uh, some program uh, with the uh, with the solidarity group. Not with uh, our country mm. so, so, you so yes, jive yeah, and we like jive with, with everyone. That is so yeah. great to hear. Like yeah. listening to this, I wish I could like sign up yes. or say up next year. That's, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sometimes um, when when we when we are in our solidarity group, uh, there's the spirit of competition came after mm. that. Because every morning we need to gather in the Dolphin Hall uh, to have a check for oh. our health, blah, blah, blah. Oh. And then every solidarity group uh, try to make sure that everyone will arrive on time. Oh, because you uh, guys compete. Yeah, 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 everyone compete. Even though we are not in the same uh, country, but uh, during our time in solidarity group, we need to ensure that, okay, we are the one who arrived the first. We have to make sure that everyone uh, to be there uh. on time, and it become competition. So a good competition, yeah, a good in competition, a yeah, in a healthy way. <laughs> and sometimes I, I I mentioned this to my my solidarity group. Uh, one or two of them sometimes late, mm. and uh, the way we we foster the understanding there is uh, I I I really sh- uh, share with them that. Um, we cannot be uh, always uh, on top. We should give other people wow. also <laughs> opportunity <laughs> to win. Chan. Yeah, bagi chan. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm happy with my solidarity group because mm. uh, we have different uh, cultures, different backgrounds. So if everyone are uh, calling for become the number one all the time, mm. so we need to find a uniqueness. Uh, that's why that's how me handling my my contingent lah. I yeah, see. Because, I yeah. see. So. Okay. From the participating youth experience, mm. so can you share what is Zayab's impact on your personal growth and development? Okay, definitely it has a lot because I I participated Zayab when I was young, when I was mm. a still student, and oh. I deferred my one semester wow. for wow. To, to join Zayab. Yes, yeah, sacrifice. sacrifice. Yeah. I heard yeah. some people even quit their jobs yes. to go into Zayab, yes. which yeah. is so so inspiring <laughs> because you don't get that, you don't get that exp- like. That chance a lot. Yeah, so, so, but you also have to. I think should uh, weigh the pros and contrasts mm. well when when you have when you um you, when you have started working. Mm. But as for myself, um, I participated say up during I was uh, still an undergraduate student. I did one semester, but alhamdulillah, I managed to uh, complete my study on time. Mm. Uh, so, uh, on personal growth. I would say um, it 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 enhanced my interpersonal and intrapersonal skills, communication skills, mm-hmm. dealing with a lot of people um, at so many different levels. Because from uh, like I said just now, um, from the day one when Ministry of Youth and Sports call you um, to offer. to offer mm-hmm. and to uh, going through all the preparation. Uh, like pre-departure training, so mm. it has a lot of process that you have to go through. So uh, uh, mixing along with uh, working along with your with the contingent, our own contingent Malaysia from different uh, background, um, doing something that uh, we never do before, like doing a uh, uh, came up with our. Malaysia, our country uh, video, mm. uh, and then um, national performance. This is on the ship. Uh, preparation. Preparation. preparation to uh, for say up. Uh. Yeah, and then uh, uh, I guess throughout the process, it it has to be a lot of uh, communication skills, dealing with a lot of peoples. Uh, 
uh, liasing with a lot of people, negotiating with a lot of people because I want this, but but certain people want that. So <laughs> how do we uh, how do we manage the expectation? How mm-hmm. do we put all together as a one at the end? And then uh, of course on board uh, during the say up. Uh, networking, networking is is really key. yeah, it's really key during say even because we have a lot of participants, three hundred over participants in total on the ship. Yes, wow. So even if we can mingle around maybe around forty or fifty people, is good enough. Mm. But um, uh, because one of the beauty of say is also uh sometimes the friendship, they it, it, it's not on the board on the on board. Uh, the ship itself but after the program oh. yes uh, and then one more thing I think um, one of the key uh, one of the key uh, for SEYAP is uh, discussion program uh, where it discuss a lot of um, uh, current issues uh, and topics based on the uh, SDG Sustainable oh. Development Goals so a variety topics but maybe uh, we we are not aware of the topics but through SEYAP it sparks me to at least uh, to be aware of uh, what's the what's the ongoing issue and for me to learn uh, other areas from uh, from my uh, specialities. I yeah. see, I see. So when you are on the ship you learn new things from new people because like SDG especially about SDG right so you're learning about sustainability so you learn a lot from the yep. Japanese, I bet. Right? Yes, yes, uh, and so not also maybe maybe just for me to spark uh, into my uh, from myself that okay, I need to read about about this. Mm. I need to read about uh, other things. It just um, enhance uh, so many knowledge and resources. Mm. Mm. True, true, mm. true. So for from a national leader, yeah. I really want to know what is the advice you would give to those who are interested of getting involved yeah. in SEAP? Like, what is your tip? Um, SEO is different with uh, compared to other uh, youth exchange program yes. because uh, the duration itself, yeah, not only fifty two days, but the preparation you need to be fit physically and mentally mm. because to endure the whole program until you finish, uh, you need to prepare yourself uh, not only with knowledge but mm. you need to do some research. You need to know about the countries that you will go, mm. uh, because it's, it's not only involved Japan. It's involved another eleven uh, ASEAN country, yeah. ten uh, ASEAN countries, and uh, aside of that, um, you need to study a bit about uh, all those countries. And uh, when uh, you equip yourself with all those uh, preparation, um, you have to uh, learn. On how to communicate well. Mm-hmm. Communication is not only about language. Uh, Your it's body language. Yeah, yeah. You, the diplomacy sen- the sensitivities, mm. like how Afini said just now, mm. and uh, each of every uh, action uh, taken by us on on that ship or uh, during the program represent the country. Uh, so you need to aware. Uh, the sensitivities and you need sometimes to be flexible and acceptable because um, once um, you know that uh, you are uncomfortable with something because of you are joining the program you are under the program you need to accept uh, the differences uh, so that is the thing la, that, that I can share mm. and uh, me personally if you ask me uh, as a national leader what is the biggest uh, decision that I've made? Huh. Uh, until today, I feel if I didn't make that decision, it is not a big thing. It, it will not create war. <laughs> no, no. But that decision, I, I, until today, I feel proud of when, when I took that decision, even though it's last minute, mm. uh, in which uh, for me to join the national presentation performance. Oh. Yeah. Since the preparation, uh, in the country, uh, I've never joined them. Okay. Uh, I, I just joined their uh, practice. Uh, you yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, because uh, all countries know that uh, if Malaysia present uh, every year, 
uh, we will present various types of our uh, tarian uh, uh, because we have various uh, cultures in the country show, yeah and, and and we we have different types of tarian we have different types of performance uh, they know it already but they always find out that malaysia national presentation is unique every year they know that oh it is unique even mm. those uh, they 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 realize that oh, the concept is always the same mm. but for me myself uh, to make the decision to join on the night before uh, the national presentation the next day is one of my biggest decision okay what happened uh, i joined them practice every night okay um, and then uh, each night when we had a national presentation from each country uh-huh. All the national leader appear. Oh Lord! Oh. <laughs> and luckily during my batch uh, 2019, uh, Malaysia will perform the last. Oh, because so the yeah, <laughs> because because uh, our port of call is the last port of call, uh-huh. and then after that uh, the last presentation, and then we are going to sail back to Japan. And I've never made any decision yet until the night before because oh it keep on pressure me. <laughs> Oh, I've never joined the the, the practice, uh-huh. so um, they keep on coming to me uh, about me. You should join about me. You don't malu kah your negara, please. <laughs> you should join. You should join. I said, uh, no, 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 never mind. You just perform according to your practice, uh-huh. and everything will be fine. Uh, every day they come every day, and then the national leaders also from other country also came to me. Wow! Oh, you see me perform last night, <laughs> so I want to see you perform also. So I said, oh my god. This is a big thing, and then the night before, I made a decision to join, uh. where uh, our uh, the administration. There are few uh, the admin admins officers from Japan okay. that take uh, took care of each contingent, and they give uh, their uh, I mean their decision also to join our national presentation. Oh. And I feel like oh I should join because because uh, kalau aku tak join yeah I <laughs> orang ha- lain I tak have, join yeah I have to join <laughs> yes yes so uh, I think if you ask me that was my my biggest decision and alhamdulillah even though I didn't join the 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 practice mm-hmm. but yeah kita dekat second and third line and we yeah. we just follow them <laughs> dan si ada 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 and then until finish so. Um, The president of of alumni association also, when when I arrive at Kuala Lumpur International Airport, uh-huh. uh, got a report oh. that all the national leaders perform, and you are so lucky because you are perform <laughs> <laughs> as well. So I feel like oh, it's a big thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's a split decision uh, that I've made, and. Yeah, I think I made the right decision. To yeah, I that. agree. Do you agree? At the yes. end, at the end, people don't care about whether you can dance or not. Yeah. People don't care. But by joining them, yes. and I can see that my my contingent they are smiling because they are so proud. Oh, finally you join! <laughs> yeah, we told you already. You should join. Da da da. And then I said, okay, all right. Uh, I fulfill my 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 responsibility. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. It's it's actually a big thing for national leaders yeah. to to join um, the performance because yeah. NL because they are from uh, the pegawai from KBS kan, yeah, kawan-kawan yeah. berdasar kan. Yeah. So usually they are the ones who oversee and monitor mm. the participating. Oh, they are right. okay keta, uh. okay keta, and then. When they join, it's like a big thing. Of, Whoa, yeah. NL join! So I think it's just the experience and memory yeah. yes. that we will treasure. Yes. yes, and we definitely do treasure them, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so um, oh, sorry. Before we go on to the next part, I just want to state that during my Korea trip in Korea, the our national leader. Uh, Mr. Nick mm. also performed, mm. and it was so interesting to see because he's like very stern <laughs> and like yeah, popular, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? But um, Encik Nick, kalau tengok ni, everyone call jangan marah. us ka- <laughs> like kayu lah, <laughs> like kayu all the time. But then we we have responsibility, so we need to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was really fun, yeah. and definitely like uh, when he's not around us. Mm. Uh, we always talk about the memory, so I bet yes. your contingent also talks about like, oh, best yes, gila, yes, our yes, NL yes. join. You can see your performance in YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah on YouTube. <laughs> Habis ni, I terus pergi. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. So, on behalf of the High Game Podcast, we would just like to say thank you so much for your time and sharing the information. I, as an alumni myself, I don't know a lot of things that you guys shared today, which is very, very valuable. And I bet the viewers we have today also appreciate. Everything and bila mendengar cerita you guys, 
Memang nak pergi. I want to go. I want to go. Kan? Thank you all the best. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, before before we end today's show, I would just like to take this opportunity to wish our friend Selamat Hari Raya Aidil Adha. And before we end it, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel which is High Gang Podcast and our Instagram is JBS Negara as well as our TikTok. JBS Negara as well. So, see you guys next week. Same time. Bye-bye.